Hi everyone, I'm Urban Girl and welcome back to my channel 2022, who would have thought? Um, I'm out again in the country park near where I was born I'm going to field test some new gear that I got so um, I'm really excited for this journey and uh, I hope um, you enjoy it guys it's an absolutely beautiful, crisp, sunny winter's day. So temperature's not high at all, but it's not raining and there's blue skies above me. Um, and that's fantastic. Um, once again, I will apologise. There will be background noise. Um, I'm never ever far from the airport or the motorway. Um, it's one of these things about being an urban girl so um you know i'll do my best for that guys so let's get cracking i'm going to set set up this new shelter um and i'm also going to make a wee spot of lunch um with some new cooking gear so we'll get to all that but let's get cracking guys okay here it is guys this is not the most lightweight piece of kit at all. Um, the poles on it, they're metal poles, it's not the original wooden poles. Um, I got it from um, a well-known reputable UK supplier of military surplus. I've not had it out the bag at all. I don't know what kind of condition it's in. Uh, it's probably smelly. It's, it is used to military surplus. Um, and so, yeah, I've not subjected it to any sort of rain, weather, uh, to waterproof it either. But it is canvas, so it should be, you know, water resistant. And fingers crossed the rain stays off anyway, guys. So let's get this set up and we'll see what it's like. Um, as I said, the poles are really quite heavy metal. Um, I would like to use my walking poles instead of these because my walking poles are a lot lighter but I'm not sure if they'll support the weight of the tent so I brought these anyway this was a Christmas present to myself um, yeah, I really don't need another shelter but I really like this for lots of reasons um, so I'll probably talk you through that uh, once I've got it set up Right, there we go. Let's get the stuff in first.
So I don't know, I don't, I, I might not have set it up right. Obviously this is my first time. As many of you probably already know, you've probably seen them a hundred times. This is the Dutch army, one man, canvas tent with a bathtub floor. Um, and I can see the back door, the bathtub's not sitting up very well. So there's something there in the way that I've set it up, probably. door back there but Venus have already set it up here right they don't need to go in okay I'll show you what it looks like um now why did I buy this I really did not need another shelter the reason I bought it is I really like the setup with two doors. Um, I really like that because in the summer it means you can have both doors open um, and you've got a really nice kind of open bushcraft shelter set up. Um, and it's canvas, I do like canvas, you know, this is Scotland, the weather's not great, um, even in the summer uh, it can rain a lot. so. From that point of view, I'm hoping it'll be a fairly weatherproof shelter. I also like that it had a bathtub floor. That means that, again, the floors, the ground's always wet, the conditions are always variable. Um, it means I don't need to worry uh, about bringing a ground sheet um, and that kind of thing. Uh, I do like, obviously, that, you know, I mean, especially for an overnight, that means you would be zipped up and enclosed, but as most people know, these tents do have some drawbacks. Now, some of the drawbacks that people have talked about a lot when they get this um, is the three zip closure at the door because, um, uh, uh, and the zips at the very corner where they flare out. Um, so a lot of people have had problems with water coming into their tent. But as you know, I don't really do a lot overnight, so for me, that wasn't really a big, big worry. Um, so got all the gear in and uh, I'm going to set up my lunch. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the setup, guys. I, I think I've done a fairly decent job for the first time out. It is a wee bit smelly, i.e. Yeah, it, it smells a wee bit like, you know, dirt and mud um, and old canvas that's not been aired. But it's not hugely unpleasant smelling, if you know what I mean. Um, this back door here might be where, as you can see, um, it seems to be moving moving in a lot with the, with the wind. But I guess once you're in it, that won't really be a problem. There is, um, as you all know as well, there is a, another zip on these because you can zip them together so you can get more than one and zip it together. Now, I'm assuming um, this bit here is a storm flap for that purpose, i.e. when they're zipped together, you can cinch this down really tightly and that'll probably help with the waterproofing um, when you've got more than one zip together. So I haven't bothered cinching that down or anything or tying out that uh, guy line today. I don't think I need it. Right, 
let's get to the inside it means I can take my boots off and uh, let's think about lunch the traffic's so busy today it's so noisy um, and there's lots of aeroplanes flying over and helicopters but anyway here we are that's a uh, that's a, a reservoir down there quite popular with local wildlife and there is a, a castle an abandoned castle it's not a full castle it's just like a turret um, but yeah you do get a really really spectacular view up here especially on a clear day um, with the hills in the background don't know what ones they are don't know could be the campsies but I'm not an expert. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I like about this already. Um, yeah, there is tons and tons of space in this compared to the Zeltban. Um, I absolutely am loving having all this space. I'm really already in love with the bathtub floor idea. Um, I've got my wee kind of wax sit pad. Not my Helican one, it's my homemade one. Um, yeah, see we have a really nice warm blanket in here as well. I wish I'd brought my jungle blanket. Um, I'm not getting a very good signal up here. I don't know what the temperature actually is, but there's a fair wee wind as well. It is uh, only January in Scotland, so it's probably, you know, probably about five degrees or something. Um, but yeah, really, really good windbreak so far. Now, it looks as though it is in fairly, fairly good condition in the inside. Um, as I said, there's, you know, there's some dirt on the floor and stuff like that, but it's nothing to worry about. So, I think I would say for a, a, a person who's looking for a really good quality canvas shelter, for day trip for day trip for overnight um if you had a decent uh you know bike caddy or something on your bike a wee trailer a wee mini trailer or something you know there's different ones you can get they're dead expensive but i'm sure you could make your own um you could probably you know trail this in a bike uh you could also trail it on a sled if you've got a lot of snow um, and I think the bathtub floor would be really good for that as well. So, yeah, de definitely plenty of options there for everybody. And uh, so far, I'm really loving it. Oh, that's one of the reasons I chose it over the Polish Lavu. Um, you know, it's the one piece of kit I don't have that's also really, really popular. But I felt that it was too similar to the Zeltban. Um, and it was going to give me that same kind of restricted pole in the middle type thing and all that and overall I just thought well what else am I getting with that you know um as opposed to a lot of the other features and benefits of this one um which is why I finally chose it it was also uh, cheaper <laughs> um and for anybody that doesn't know um this is the desert camel pattern uh, it does come in another kind of green MPM or whatever it's DPM whatever it's called anyway yeah it does come in another uh, military green pattern but this is a desert camel pattern which uh, I quite liked as well so yeah right I'm going to have some lunch now with another new piece of kit <laughs> I know you know I don't need another camping stove but uh, this was a Christmas present um, that I asked my son for um, because I already had the stove and I used it so much that I thought you know what I really like that system because it all fits in one bag and I like that about it so this is the BCB Crusader Mark II kit um, you don't get a lid with it um, but you do get the canteen, the canteen cup, the stove and a plastic cup. So a lot of good pieces in here. To, <laughs> yeah. Um, and to be fair on myself, um, you'll notice that, or I did, I did let everybody know. Um, I, 
I've sold my other BCB stove um, and the other two canteen cups that I had. I, I, I you know, <laughs> it was difficult to part with that French Army canteen cup. I don't know if it was a subscriber that bought it. If it was, um, if any of my subscribers bought any of that stuff, then hi guys, and I hope it's reached you safely, and I hope you enjoy using it as much as I did. Um, but yeah, I, I felt that you know, it because you end up with so much kit, and there's nowhere to store it all. <laughs> so yeah, um, and I go to France a lot anyway, and there's always military surplus stuff on sale there. So if I really feel the desire to get another French Army canteen cup, um, I probably you know would be able to do that. But uh, meanwhile, I'm going to give this BCB a run for its money um, and see how it is. As I said, I've used the stove before, so I know what it's like. Right, I'll set this up for my lunch, guys, and I'll bring you back. It's a bit of a precarious angle. That's not going to go anywhere because it's wet here. Everything's wet. So yeah, I'm not worried about that. Don't worry about that, guys. I know it looks bad. Well, the handle's nice and cool, which is great. Um, I hope these beans are hot enough, I'm not sure. I just fancied something simple today. And I haven't had beans for ages, and you can't beat cheesy beanos. So, happy new canteen cup, guys. Right, let's see if these are hot enough. I'm holding on to the camera at the same time because um, it's pretty windy. I'm not sure if these are ready yet because the cheese hasn't melted. All of the cheese hasn't melted, which isn't great. So let's have a look. Cheers guys. I've shut all the doors um, and hunkered down in here to see what it's like. So it does smell a wee bit, but as I say, it's not too bad. I found out what all the noise was. There's somebody um, on a kind of off-road MTV, multi MTP, is that right? A multi-terrain vehicle or whatever it's called. The wee thing that looks like a zooped up dune buggy type thing, you know, four wheel we uh, off-road type vehicles so somebody was on one of them zipping around here um, which is where a lot of that noise was coming from they were probably having a good look at, at, at the tent thinking who's that mad nut <laughs> camping 
but yeah i wouldn't be camping overnight as you know guys um nice with the door shut really cozy really blocking out a lot of that wind which was great because there was a real wind chill factor um i think i mean there is so much space in this honestly guys i think you would easily get a camp cot in here i mean your head would yeah you know your head would touch the canvas at the top which i know probably wouldn't be ideal but um yeah for comfort and that you know it would be good but absolutely stacks the room in here really really like it really enjoying it here's my foot here and the bottoms are way 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 beyond me down there um, and I've got loads of room up here as well at my head space as you can see loving it really like it guys I hope you like it well guys there we go the wind is uh, yeah the wind's fair packing up um but it was cozy it was really really cozy inside that tent so all in i am really really pleased with it uh i did find out it does have the tab on the bathtub floor that you attach to the pole so um yeah I, I knew it had that but when i set it up i couldn't find it i mean it was in a hurry so you know but yeah it does have that i don't think it has the wee loop in the top though because a lot of the other ones i've seen there's a wee pocket under there that you slide the pole in but i definitely don't see it there but i'll have another look for it in case i have missed it when i set it up but yeah, the wee tabs at the bottom will help. They obviously help keep the bathtub aligned and so would probably stop that door flapping about a lot as well. So that would be good. So, here we are. Thanks again for watching my channel, guys. I really appreciate all your support. I really appreciate all your comments and tips. I'm just an urban girl out having a bit of fun. Bye!